Moving to Florence right now, the city today added the names of more than 30 local veterans to the Wall of Honor, and that brings the total to 828. And News 13's Lacey Lee was there for the event, and Lacey, describe what you saw for us and the emotions in that crowd. Good evening, Bob and Megan. And today's ceremony was absolutely beautiful. Last year, it was held inside because of the weather, and with COVID, there were some restrictions. But I will say today looked a lot different. Hundreds of veterans and people in the community came to the Florence Veterans Park to honor those who fought for our country. I cannot pass a veteran on the street or in a store, even here today, that I don't shake their hand and thank them. And I do tell them, I'm glad you made it back because my son didn't. He was in the Marines. Carter's son, Corporal Kelly Keith, was just 22 years old when he was killed in a helicopter crash. Something 96 year old World War II veteran Rocky Gannon remembers experiencing to this day. I flew C 130s in the Belgian Congo and got shot at more there than I did in Vietnam. And once each guest spoke, thank them not only today in celebrations like this, but every day. And voices were uplifted in song. It was clear that veterans will be honored here at the Florence Veterans Park forever. You have a special bond. Once a person's in here, whether it's Coast Guard, Marine, Merchant Marine, they did so many things. Uh, makes you feel good. You're home no matter where you are with that veteran. And coming up at 6, the message Gannon has to current and up-and-coming veterans. Live in Florence, Lacey Lee, News 13.